Hello, my name is Lewis Talley with InSource Solutions, and this is the third video in a series of general introductory videos highlighting the use of various VMware technology in a traditional Wonderware architecture. This video covers a brief introduction and overview of vMotion. So what is vMotion? vMotion is the act of a live migration of a running virtual machine between hosts. It's useful because it allows you to move between hosts without any downtime whatsoever. It's beneficial for maintenance if I need to take a host down to perform patching or reboot a host. It's also the foundation that's used for other VMware technologies like DRS. Oftentimes people think of vMotion as a form of redundancy, which is not correct. VMware vMotion is simply the, the mechanism of moving an image from one host to another. The movement itself, although it can be scripted, needs to be driven by an administrator. So here's the setup that we have today. Similar to the architecture that we've shown in other videos, we have a Wonderware historian and the InTouch HMI. So the historian, because this is a non-system platform architecture, is pulling data from the InTouch. It's running reactor demo and we have a trend going illustrating the reactor level. All of this runs on a cluster of servers, physical hosts, one, physical host two, physical host three, and physical host four. So here we see on the right hand side of the screen the InTouch reactor demo with the reactor level increasing. On the left hand side is the historian image with a trend over the last five minutes in real time showing what that reactor level is. So this is a very basic configuration and I just want to illustrate what vMotion is all about. Also notice that the InTouch HMI is running on host 3 as indicated in the title bar at the top. Now the way that vMotions are triggered are through the vSphere client. Now as I mentioned earlier they can be scripted but generally speaking, the administrator would do this as an interactive task. So the way that you do that is by right-clicking on an image, selecting Migrate. I'm presented with some options. In this case, I want to change host. I'm going to select the host that I want to go to. It performs a compatibility check beyond the scope of this video to talk about all the requirements for vMotion, but in general it requires shared storage and a separate non-routable network. So there's other things that we're not discussing here that the compatibility checker looks for, but in this case everything's okay. So I'm going to go forward and I can select a priority. I'm just going to take the defaults. I'll select finish. So now down at the bottom, we can see that it's migrating the active state of the virtual machine and it's actually moving the guest operating system from host 3 to host 4. So if we look at, again, the title bar, we can see that the InTouch HMI is running on host 4. And to prove that there was no disruption in the data, I've got the trend still running here and you don't see any gaps in the data. So if we were to do another vMotion, if we were logged in as soon as we click the OK button, you would see a momentary blip in the console, but there wouldn't be any disruption to data. That's just the console switching to another session. So this concludes the brief introduction on VMware vMotion and how it can be used. Thank you.